Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today, let's ice dye an Old Navy dress. The dress was prepped like normal, and I have it turned inside out. I've ice dyed one of these dresses before in a tall, deep scrunch pattern. I'll leave a link to that video down below in the description for this one. For this one though, I wanted to put a spiral starting down in the bottom portion of the skirt. So I'm using my fork to start the spiral, and then I'm going to hold all the folds in place with some rubber bands. Before I begin applying the dye, I'm going to lightly spray the top of the shirt with a little bit of soda ash solution. This will help the dye adhere to the shirt a little bit better and not fall off the sides. By the way, I've also divided the shirt into four sections using a washable marker. For this shirt, I'm going to do a little bit different way of applying the dye. So I'm using a lot of dye colors. I'm starting with hot chocolate from Pro Chemical and Dye followed by Havana Brown from Pro Chemical, Lunar Blue from Custom Colors, and Khaki from Dharma Trading Company. Then when I go in right beside those colors, I'm going to apply Marine from Pro Chemical and Dye, Bronze from Dharma, Brazil Nut from Dharma, and Kilt Green from Dharma. Then I'm going to apply Chino from Pro Chemical, Steel Blue Gray from Custom Colors, Palomino Gold from Dharma, and Harvest Wheat from Pro Chemical. I'm going to continue this dye pattern on the dress until the dress is totally covered with dye.
I purchased some plastic cutting boards from the dollar store and I've cut them into strips. I've attached the strips together with some binder clips and I'm going to wrap that around the dress. Then I'm going to sprinkle some dry soda ash on top and add a layer of ice. After the layer of ice melted, there was still a little bit of dye left sitting on top, so I added another layer of ice and I allowed it to melt as well. Then I let the dress process for about 24 hours, and for part of that time, I covered it and put it outside where it was about 100 degrees. Then I took it to my utility sink and I began rinsing it in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. I untied the dress and warmed the water up to hot, and I rinsed it in hot water to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the fabric. When the water was running almost clear, I put the dress down into my washing machine and I washed it on a hot water cycle using a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent. Then after the dress was washed and dried, this is how it turned out. Well, all right guys, what do you think about this one? I really like this one. I think that the spiral down on the skirt portion looks really cool. I also like the colors. I like that darker, more earth tone color combination. And I like to apply the dye that way. I think it just kind of gives an interesting effect to the spiral. I like all the color splits that came out of these colors too. These are really good dark colors that split really interestingly. I also like the darker lines that are on the dress. If you notice, there are darker lines radiating from the center of the spiral, and I think that looks cool. This dress is an old navy dress, which I purchased a few months ago, and I bought several of them at the same time, and I'm just now getting back to tie-dyeing one of them. It's a 100% cotton dress, and I think they tie-dye up really nicely. When you see it hanging on the mannequin too, I think it looks really pretty. The top is a little less busy, and then you have the spiral down on the skirt portion of the dress. So I really like it. I think it turned out looking really pretty. And if you all have enjoyed this video, I sure would appreciate it if you would like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.